What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today we're going to be talking about fuel consumption in the F30. Alright, so this is a topic that I get asked a, a lot, surprisingly way more than I thought I would about the F30 BMW, but it seems that everyone is very concerned or just curious about the miles per gallon, the fuel consumption in the F30 BMW with the tunes that I have and all of the bolt-ons. The answer might surprise you a little bit. It's actually close to the exact same as factory. So if you go online and just look up the fuel consumption, the miles per gallon for the F30 BMW, it says in city driving, it's somewhere around 23 or 24 miles per gallon. And on the freeway, it's anywhere from 34 to 36 miles per gallon. So right now I'm running stage two boot mode in my F30 BMW, as well as full bolt-ons. And I think that these results might surprise you a little bit because Honestly, the miles per gallon hasn't changed one bit. We drove to New Jersey a couple of months ago while I was running the tune and all the bolt-ons and everything, and I still got 34 miles per gallon on the highway, all the way there, eight and a half hours. That never changed. And then my city driving, I just checked it the other day, is also 24 miles per gallon. So I had quite a few people comment on my videos saying that they wanted to know what the fuel consumption was or the mile per gallon was with each tune that I did and all the bolt-ons. I think they were like assuming that it was going to be terrible or that it was going to change a lot. Um, it didn't change at all. I even had a couple of people that were getting upset, like as if I was trying to hide the fuel consumption or the miles per gallon after the tune from from everyone, as if I was like withholding information. Um, totally not the case. But as you guys know on this channel, you guys have a voice, and so I listened to you and I made this video. But I do want you to all know that. The, uh, the fuel consumption hasn't changed one bit. This car is an absolute breeze when it comes to fuel consumption. It's a four cylinder turbo, small turbo, so it doesn't really eat up that much gas. And this also is kind of something to note when it comes to picking the F30 to be like your daily driver. It really does cover so many bases. It's reliable, it's easy on gas, and it's really simple to drive. It's a comfortable car. So that's kind of why I have chosen this car to be my daily driver. Um, the E90 M3 is the exact opposite. It, that thing drinks gas like crazy, and it's not like the most comfortable car to drive. It's just more of like a, a race car. So I would kind of assume that like a 335 or a 340 or a 330 is probably somewhere in the same ballpark. Uh, if I look it up, it says it's like 21 miles per gallon in the city and 31 on the highway. And I think that a lot of these numbers would probably change if it was tuned because the 335s can get really, really powerful, really, really fast with some easy modifications. So I'm just speaking directly into the car that I have, the chassis I have, F30 328 N20 engine. Um, I'm assuming that the N26 would probably be the same thing. But yeah, you guys, so I hope this doesn't completely blow you away, but the gas mileage hasn't changed at all. It's still fantastic in my car. And if you guys are on the fence about tuning your F30 because you're afraid that it's gonna be eating more gas or sucking down more gas, you're good. You really don't have to worry about it. It's, no, it's a non-issue. So if you guys have anything to add to this, comment down below. I just wanted to make this video quick because I had a couple of people asking me for it. And you know, anytime you guys ask for videos, I, I try my best to make them as soon as possible. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please do consider subscribing, hit the like button, hit the bell notification button, comment down below. And just like that, this video is over and I am out. Peace.